Hello everyone, welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Disgaea Hour of Darkness. I believe we are at the beginning of chapter 4 of the game. Yep, a gift from an angel. Where we're going to be hunting down Flan's stolen necklace that I believe Vulcanus was his name. Stole her necklace while she was sleeping and we got to get it back. Uh, ostensibly to save her life, but really just because we want her to give her. We want her to give us something nice. We can't actually do things, think, do nice things for people. We're demons, you know. There has, there has to be some self-interest going on here. Um, but that being said, I don't think we need to do any, any uh, logistical stuff. No team modifications. Just pretty much gonna go straight into it. No equipment changes. Uh, I think. As soon as our team gets up to about level 10, we're going to be unlocking some stuff. So once we, so once this character's approach like gets to level 10, there's going to be some logistical team adjustments that happen, class changes, stuff like that. But that's not going to be right now. Probably most of my team's going to be reaching 10, I'm guessing, around the end of this episode. So probably... I'm not quite sure how I'll resolve that, but we'll just we'll just see how time plays out for now. So yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead and get into it. Well, everything in the last level was oh no, that was two levels ago was frozen. So this, everything here is fancy, love obsessed. Everything here is frozen. Everything here is ostentatious and flashy, and everything here is fire, apparently. So let's go to it. Well, it is a volcano. This place reeks of goodness. Blah. Wholesomeness. It smells awful. It's kind of interesting, right? Lahal is more like a mugger. We go into... We went into Hogmiser's palace and we beat him up and we stole everything. And then an angel comes and, in the night, steals somebody's source of life. Like, one of these things seems more sadistic than another. I guess good and evil just isn't that straightforward, huh? Okay, we've got some geocrystal stuff going on here. Bonus experience. Every, so every monster that we kill on top of these green tiles is going to give 100% more experience than usual. That is going to make me feel a little bit ambitious. How expanded is this level? Alright, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and combine two of these. See how that works out. Let's throw this guy... Here. And we'll have Etna lift and throw this guy here. Now these guys are level 18, which is a little bit scary. Um, but they're pretty weak, and they don't... I mean, their stats aren't that great, and they don't have any weapons or armor equipped, so... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to be too worried about them. So we'll just move out some defenders. You know, put up a line of defense here so no one character can get surrounded. We'll let them initiate on us. That's some damage. Okay, they are a little bit scary. Uh, this one's weak to ice, so... 
let's give this guy a bit of a gang beating. See how this does for damage. See, that's gonna be about like 60 plus probably Etna's gonna hit for probably another 60. Yeah. So we have about 70 health left when we're done. Yeah. So they have about 100 attack each, and Lahal has about the same. So I think this Hurricane Slash should probably not kill this guy. Oh, that was close, actually. Um, we're going to go ahead and have our Ice Mage try and finish him off. See if she's strong enough to do this. Yeah, she is. That's nice. It helps that these two guys are weak to ice. Um, and again, we want to make sure they don't get too surrounded and beat up. I'm going to go ahead and move Hogmizer out. I actually don't really care about using this guy, but he can, he can sit on the front line and cover some people for me. These guys do kind of hurt. And she just barely survives. These guys are level 11. It's pretty significant. This guy's level 12. Um. Alright. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna. No, this is not gonna work. What if we did it? I wanna put Etna over next to this wall here. So she'll be sort of safe. So I'm gonna lift him out of the way and let her through. And then, oh, no, I actually don't want him to go first. I want Etna to hit first for the axe bonus. And I need to mute my Facebook one moment here. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Same deal, I think this will weaken this guy down to about 70 HP or so, and then I'll let Ellie, our Ice Mage, step in and claim some of that experience. Ooh. This is a new spell for her. That's pretty awesome, actually. Something she can do at the beginning of a fight to buff herself up and get more damage. Now she's level 10. Hogmizer can still go in there and take a beating. We want to move out our clerics and... I'm kind of an idiot. I should have been using shield to protect people. Well, let's do this. Um... See how much this heals for and go from there. This is not an obstacle. Yeah, people can still move around that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do a nice big heal on Etna here. Try and get her topped off before I go for buffs of any sort. And Laharl and Axel and say Musashi will step out and they will play Frontline. Ow. These guys really hurt. I was thinking about combining some of these again. I might com... No, these are... Level 20. These would be level 22 together. I might, but probably not until after I soften them up at least a little bit. Uh, and we're going to do that by having... I want Laharl to Blade Dash through here, so we're going to bring him here. We lift this guy out of the way so Laharl can step past. 
we're gonna take Hogmiser and actually let him... I was thinking about using a Spinning Slash to weaken these guys up. I don't think he'd kill them, so let's actually have Hogmiser do that instead. Oh, right, that's not the nine squ it's not the eight squares around him, it's only the squares directly next to him. That's not a, that's not gonna work. So yes, we will have Musashi lift this guy up, we'll put Laharl over here, we'll have Musashi put this guy back down, and then we'll get some area of effect damage in here. Here I come! Not a lot of area of effect damage, but some. How do I want to do this? Etna and Laharl are still really hurting, so I think I want to do more big heals on them. I hope I pick up my next level of heal pretty soon. It should be Mega Heal. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna learn that at level 10. Maybe that means I should go ahead and rush Kasumi to level level 10 if I can. Thankfully, she does have access to ice spells because she's standing next to her people, but she's already healed this turn, so we'll have to do that next turn. Etna can soften this guy up. Die. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Axel will soften this guy up as well. Safe, safe. I'll finish this. Now, how do I want to do this? This is the only guy I even want to think about killing this turn, just because he's the only one standing on a plus experience tile. What is he weak to? Ice? You know, I'm gonna bet. Like, everything I've looked at in here is weak to ice and resistant to fire. So I'm betting this is scripted, because, you know, we're in a volcano and it's fire here, so probably all of these guys are programmed to be weak to ice. So that's going to be good for us, since our one big caster is an ice caster. Um, let's see if she can secure this kill with Mega Ice. Not quite. That's okay. Because we have plenty of people that are lower level than she is, so it's fine to, fine to split this experience up this way. And they both go up level. And I believe that does it for my turn. And I think most likely... Nobody on my team is going to cause a counterattack and kill one of these guys, so I think I can just lift them and throw these guys to combine them and then execute them. So let's... let's see, it should be like... Mahal lifts and throws here. Axel lifts and throws here. And now this guy's standing on a bonus experience tile. And Kasumi can probably snipe that skill with a Mega Ice. Maybe not. He has a lot of resistance. Huh. Well, let's do this. We'll actually have Flan do this first and see if that's good enough. And actually, let's Mega Boost Kasumi so that she is going to... Alright. I actually need to make sure I do this in the proper order so that everything combos up correctly. So we're going to have... Man, everybody's standing in the wrong place. How do I do this? Okay, Flan moves here. Kasumi moves here. Now Flan is standing in the correct place that Ellie can magic boost both of them. And then we can do an ice magic chain on this guy. Let's see if that's legal. Zero damage. Still zero damage. That's not gonna work. 
Well, who do I want to secure this kill then? I guess Musashi? Uh, he has 52 health. Move Hogmiser out of the way. What's this guy's defense like? 74. Probably actually not gonna kill him with this attack. So I'll need to do something else first to soften him up. Move this brawler over to here. Uh, that's not where I want her, actually. I want her right there, just in case this goes wrong. Etna can't reach that square. Wow, this is so convoluted. Um, Alright. Etna needs to lift this guy out of the way. So that we can put Musashi right here. Now we can put him down. And this brawler can stand right there. Not there. Uh, this guy gets to place his place here. Move this guy here. This brawler stands here. Talk about crazy order of operations. Alright, this should do this. And then he can triple strike. Drop dead. Yeah, this should be this should be good. Excellent. It's a pretty good, pretty good leveling map right there, honestly. You know, you could just combine people and then blow them up for plus 100% experience. You could, uh, level up pretty quickly on that map. I might abuse that for, uh, for power leveling later, but wow, this is an awesome item. Since it has pretty much everything on it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to... Laharo, I guess, just so he's more of a badass. And we'll move on to the next mission. feeling right now. I'm living down in the tropics right now and it's so hot. Preach it, Etna. Gonna turn into flan jerky. So I can abuse him and punish him. I don't think I know anyone that emotive. Two waves of guys, five each, level nine, all weak to ice. So Laharl's much tougher now than he was a minute ago, so we'll have him be pretty much our frontline guy. Um, that tree is not an obstacle. His path is four tiles wide, five, three, four, five, yeah, okay. So we'll just build up a 
build up a front line. Just put people off. Pretty much just like this. So no one character can get ganged up on. And then we want our mages to move out behind them. And we might as well do some magic boosting. And some shielding. Get some buffs going on. Hilarious. I put Laharl right in the middle, so he'd hopefully be the focus, and he's the only person that didn't get attacked. But, interestingly, he's now in a position to do a lot of work. Here I come. Nice. Um... How else? I think we're pretty much just going to be having everybody do their own thing. I'm actually not focused by it for once. Kasumi to secure some kills with Mega Ice because she needs to be leveling that up. But her intelligence just isn't high enough. 101 is the lowest of all of them. Um, now, I guess we don't really need to do any heals super urgently. Like, people that got hit only lost about a third of their HP? A quarter? So they ought to be fine. For now. Uh, Axel we're not going to use because he's already level 10. So we'll bring out Teemo. And then, last but not least... How do I want to do this? I guess that works. I think Laharl can once again blade rush these guys without killing them. I was partly mistaken. And then he will move out of the way. This guy's one health left. That's pretty awesome. Because I do actually want to combine these after all, I think. And the way I will do that is like this. And this guy's level 18, weak to ice with 32 HP. Who do I have that I want to kill him? I don't appear to have any level 8 characters left, so pretty much anyone could do it. Hmm.
not even a level up. That's surprising. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bunch up all of my healed characters, or all of my damaged characters, just like that. And Flon will perform a healing miracle. Lord, give me strength! Nice. We'll keep buffing up my uh, my mages. I actually want to do this this way. Get these mages buffed up pretty high, get their intelligence up pretty pretty well. I guess it actually shows what their int stat is after the boost. Because this was 100 a minute ago, and now it's 142. Uh, and then, since she already learned the ability, I think? No, not quite, because Flan is not capable of casting it off of her yet. So we'll just do this. I know I'm not doing any combat this round, I'm pretty much just having my mages learn abilities off of each other right this instant. And set up a new front line over here. Etna's not even in danger there. Sure. I'm pretty sure Kasumi, our priest, is maxed out on magic boost buffs right now, because the maximum is double. But I want her to keep practicing the ability so that she masters it. That way she can teach it to fly. And I almost forgot, I want to get Teemo over here so he can do some work. Uh, before I have Laharl secure that kill, because he's pretty much, he's pretty much a badass. I want to see if there's any spells I want to practice. My Mega Ice will not reach that far. Is there like a way I could throw people to make this work? I don't think so. I mean, yes, but it's it's not really worth it. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do this this way. And, last but not least, have Kasumi do some shielding. I don't really feel like I need it, it's just that, like I said, I, like I keep saying, casting it levels it up and gives it a very, better area of effect. So if I ever get to the point where I want to cast it on my entire army before a fight, I can do so with just one spell. Now, I think, Kasumi ought to be able to kill this guy. She's got, like, double intelligence right now. There we go. 
and Laharl's confused blind? And what is what are all those statuses? It's a question mark, a swirly, a and a poison. I don't know, but I'm gonna heal him. Hear that status off. Um, sure, Etna will secure this kill. Die! Yeah! Drop dead. Or not. Currently level 1. It looks like level 1, casting something gives it 16 experience. So if I cast double Espoir, does it give me experience credit for casting it twice? Or is a single instance? I don't know, that's tough to say. I'll have to cast a single target and see what happens. I feel nothing. I feel everything and it hurts. guy is still weak to ice, so Asumi ought to be able to secure this and teach herself some Mega Ice at the same time. Fantastic! Certainly, Kasumi's gonna die if I leave this edge open, so we'll move her out of the way. Alright, move someone into position to protect. kill, actually, it's a combo. I didn't think about that. Oh, I guess not. I forgot. Laharl got a new item that gives him a bunch more attack than he used to have, so they don't have the same attack rating anymore. Um... Kasumi's level 10. What if we did something like this? Because I think she mastered Mega Ice, which means she can teach it to Flan. Nice. <clears throat> not too hard, not completely trivial. You know, I didn't just blow through it, but I wasn't ever really in any danger either. Well, 
Which I'm pleased with, because we haven't really spent any money on gear or anything, so we're just saving right now, which means we'll be able to pick up some really nice items a little bit later on. Dun dun dun, foreshadowing. Sounds familiar. Maybe liking flowers and poems is his weak point. Give him flowers, read him poetry, his defenses will go right down, and then you can stab him in the back. Sounds like love. Dude, she's taller than you. Of course she doesn't look up to you. Gotta get that growth spurt, dude. Alright, this looks interesting. Or not. This looks pretty horrific, actually. Ugh. Ugh. This is gross. Um... So I think what... I think what the game wants you to do is probably either clear out these five... probably clear out these five guys and throw this gem onto the red tile and then just end your turn for five turns and let it kill everybody. I might do it that way. I mean, this this enemy boost plus 50% is kind of savage. But I also think I can take it, actually. Who do I have that does area of effect right now? Um... I don't have any good area of effect people right now. Like, pretty much my biggest AoE is Laharl's, Laharl and Vel's Blade Surge. But that requires an empty tile on the fourth tile, and this is not empty, so that won't work. Uh, so I guess I'll just move them out and... Feed experience to people one at a time. Uh, let's... Can they step there? Yes, they can. So I should probably block this off. Die. Let's see how much one of these guys actually does before we come up with our. <coughs> Excuse me. Before we come up with our long term plan for this level. Some, but not a ton. I have a lovely idea. Alright, so yeah, we're pretty much just going to combine at least two of these guys. We'll combine these into level 18s. That would normally mean they would really hurt, but so I am going to buff up... Um, buff up Etna's defense so she won't just get owned. Not too bad. Yeah. And now, this guy's weak to ice, we can use our scout to do some softening up with an ice-based attack. Don't ask me why that's an ice-based attack.
I don't think that'll kill him, so this will just soften him up. Yeah, one damage. Um... We'll do a little more shielding. She'll need a heal in a minute, but I think as long as I buff her defense, she won't be in any danger of dying this turn. So, we'll do that. And we'll have to put some smackdown on this guy. Pretty sure that killed her. Ah, oh, that hurt. Apparently, I was mistaken. Well, Bell needs level, so she'll go ahead and secure that kill. And we'll have Laharl blade rush through these two. Ridiculous. My highest my character with the highest accuracy in the game and he barely hits the guy. Oh, well I guess I guess no wait, that's not the level 18. I was gonna say that's the level 18 guy, so he probably has really high evasion, except that he's not. Yeah, I don't feel like there's any need for me to clear this level like the ordinary way by fighting through here. If I really wanted, like, the experience or something like that... Ooh. New ability. If I really wanted the experience or something like that, um... I could just go to the, the first level in this chapter, which had the, the plus 100% experience tiles, and just abuse those. Like, we have a good power leveling map now that'll level us up really quickly, so I'm just pretty much just not going to do anything I don't need to do. If you didn't notice, that tile I picked up, it's a damage 20% tile, which means at the end of the enemy's turn, everybody standing on red tiles takes 20% of their maximum health as damage. Now, the enemies only move towards you once you, once you get pretty much within attacking range of them. So I can just throw this over here and then stand here and do nothing. And let it kill them off for me. Easy. Easy peasy. Or ez, as they like to say these days. Ez. Sounds more like a laugh than a grunt, but okay. I'll give it to the translation team. Such a nice guy. これで我が計画を邪魔する者はいなくなったというわけだ。なんだ。ペンダントから光が。いや。こんなものもう用なしだ。捨てて。見て。
It's mid boss. Exactly. It's exactly what I was thinking. It's perfectly designed for one as beautiful and elegant as you. A gift from the heavens to offset your beauty. Everyone needs a rival to make the world go round. It's <laughs> how mid bosses work. They're supposed to come back to haunt you. <laughs> well, she's trying to be polite. Ah, oh, mid-boss, have you forgotten? Kindness is elegant. Finders Keepers is not befitting for one of your stature. I'd say lower than that, but sure. So we learn why it burned Vulcanus. Vulcanus, whatever it is. I always want to call him Vulcanon. Like I think I said that early on, right? It reminds me of the of the god character from Shining Force 2, the Phoenix God, Vulcanon. <laughs> no punishment. Chuck, he secretly has a pure heart. Exactly. In true anime fashion. Montage! Power pose. 
Alright, what do we got going on here? Level 12 guys that will do some damage. Level 14 mages. So pretty much I want one person to just hold the bridge while I handle the left side, I guess. We'll go ahead and have that be Laharl, because he's the toughie. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to deploy everybody into a good position for uh, defense buffs. And then I will cancel their moves. And deploy them as seems best to me. Gotta love that tango beat. Alrighty. Got some buffs. Now Laharl can take the bridge. And Etna. And Terra can take the left side. We'll bring up Bell in a supporting position. And Timo for some damage. But I'll leave these others alone for now. Maybe Axel. Just in case. I wonder how much damage she would have taken if she didn't have the shield buff. Looks like I'm really going to want to go back and do some power leveling on that level. Um, actually, you know, I, I want Etna to be securing this kill, so let's soften him up like this. And like this. Not very much damage. There we go. Yeah, either I need to level my guys up by about two or three levels, especially in preparation for the next chapter, because like we're at the end of this chapter. Everybody's level 12 to level 14, so I'm anticipating I'll want to be at least level 14 going into the next one. And or I need to seriously upgrade my equipment, because I'm basically just running... I'm basically just using the stuff that I got at the beginning of the game. Um, which is saying something. Maybe? Question mark? That... Ooh, Mega Heal. That, um... That, you know, I'm taking on people multiple levels higher than I am with just basic equipment. Maybe that's special, maybe it isn't. Who knows? But we're going to need to do something about it anyway. Nice. Bigger heal. We'll just take it nice and slow here. Apparently nobody cares about going down the right side. Now I know these guys are casters, right? So, I'm probably going to get ganged up on in a pretty unpleasant way. I think I don't want to close this distance and give them the option to surround me. So I'm pretty much just going to solidify this line right here. So, like, so next turn, like, this guy will get to me, but pretty much nobody else will. And... I'll throw out a bigger area of effect shield. Still only have a weak-ish shield on her. 
which is ironic because she's the one who learned it in the first place. And Mahara will just stay right there for now. Line AoE. That's something I'm going to want to bear in mind taking this guy on. Um, wow, this looks kind of bad, actually. Alright, well, let's see what kind of nukes I can get going on. Um... What's this guy have for resistance? 110. This guy's 47. So she's going to distribute more damage if she does this this way. <coughs> Excuse me. This guy apparently has some bonus resistance somewhere. I feel like I really want to just beat the crap out of this caster, but in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to distribute myself in a way that really opens me up to getting surrounded and pretty much starting to get two-shot. Um, I just don't like that idea very much. How do I want to do this? Alright, I think what we'll do is we'll have Axel go out and put, see how much damage he can get on this guy. His defense is really high, even as a mage. Yeah, this is a scary match. This is going to be a problem. Um... I think what I can do is possibly like a, a staggered diagonal. That means that only one person can be focused at a time. Right? So like, basically this kind of formation, and probably Axel will get killed because he's on the hinge point, but we'll see. Um, conversely, I could probably kill this guy using... Say Flan. Let's put her here. I want to try and avoid making good lines for that guy to blow up. Um, a level 1 ice ability ought to do it, because he's only got 1 HP. And then... Now these are my only two damaged characters, so I'm gonna go ahead and have Kasumi. She only needs a weak heal ability. Alright, we'll pop these two off before I finish deploying the line I want to do here. Um, also, uh, if I hadn't have put her right here, I could have used Teemo to inflict some pretty good damage on that guy. That's probably a mistake on my part. Alright, Etna. How many counters does this guy have? Only one. So, I think if she moves up there, she'll kill him. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. But I don't want to put her in that much danger, so... Ah, uh, that's irritating. Maybe I will hang my brawler out here as, like, bait and see how this goes. Help! 
Now, I'll bet you anything, because I actually... Oh, no, wait. She's standing there. Okay, yeah. No holes in this line. This guy can AoE here. We'll see how this goes. But of course! Ow. Wow, it looks like everybody might live. I am hugely surprised by this. And they've hit, they've set themselves up to take some serious area of effect damage. Wow, okay. Um Alright, so we're gonna Ninja Laharl over here to get him some area of effect damage. And Yeah, we'll do that. See how it ends up for now. Again, these are still all weak to ice, so what's the best ice attack I have here? I could hit all three of these with a Mega Ice. Or I could hit all four of them with a Normal Ice. But this guy has really high resistance, so it seems less good to me. So I think I'll go for the Mega Ice play, which means I need to be three tiles away. So I'll do it from here, I guess. Oops, no, that's not it. So wrong configuration. There we go. Nice! Man, she did a lot of damage! Um, how else are we gonna do this? See how this goes for now. It's 80 damage. No. Ah, yeah, that was lethal. Okay. Which, thankfully, means I can do something like this. Flan still has a turn. She can do a big area of effect heal. It will hit mid-boss, but he doesn't have any damage on him, so that doesn't matter. Fantastic. Now, we just have to figure out how to kill these other guys. Uh, Teemo should do some of that work. I probably want to do it on, like, this guy, because he has the area of effect. Lovely. Which leaves us... He's acted. Kasumi has not acted. Uh, let's see if she can steal some kills. Lovely. Now I just have to deploy my fighters who haven't moved in a nice defensive line so that nobody dies. I mean, this guy's gonna get into my back line. He might kill somebody, but it's just gonna be one, so it's not really a big deal. 846 health? She's just gonna do nothing. I actually don't want to attack him, because if I attack him, he's going to counterattack me, and that's going to hurt. Seventy-five to twenty-seven. Yeah, she might just be dead anyway, but I don't want to start that fight yet. But of course. Ow.
and he's dead. Alrighty, so we just gotta finish off this guy. Go ahead and have... Uh, Etna's not gonna get that kill, actually. We'll see what Musashi can do with a Tiger Charge. Something. Um... I have a clever idea. How would we need to do this? Um... in a corner, so we only have to ever have to deal with him one at a time, which means our ranged characters and our casters can pretty much go nuts. I mean, I guess we don't have a ranged character anymore, we just have a caster. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna boulder crush him, that should be enough. Then, he's still weak to ice, so, what's his resistance like? Not fantastic. Oh, she can't cast my guys from there. Do that, and that, and... This? See how that does for damage. Yeah, it's a pretty decent chunk. Okay, yeah. Shouldn't have any problems with the rest of this. So we'll just do this and end our turn and let Maharl keep tanking it up. We're pretty lucky, actually, that we opted to have Ice be our first ability that we're learning. Our first, uh, magic school, I mean. But of course! Ow! But thankfully, he's just gonna die to my casters, so... Freeze! This is the demon police. You're coming with us. Get ready! Give me my pendant! She went up to level 13. That was like three levels gain. What rapid health care he got. Nah, I can stand lava. Don't mind me. Masake 
ない顔をするなこれで良いのであろうアハールさん早く受け取れ手を抜けるように熱いのだ True, he's got a corrupt heart. He's getting burned by it. Lava doesn't burn, but holy pendants do. It's a strange world. I'll bet you like 10 bucks he's about to laugh and be super proud of that. Haha, I told you. The only warmth I feel is in my hand, woman. It's burning! Whatever, I'm just gonna dance, don't mind me. The pretty is in shock because he knows that's true for most humans, too. Scandalous. For some definitions of manipulating, just asking someone to do something for you nicely counts as manipulating them. <laughs> hey, viewers, we're going to do other things for a while. I'll come back in a couple chapters. 
I'm the villain. Don't forget it. And now we're going to find out what amazing things Etna's going to do next time. I missed out on the cooking competition this time. Baseball game! Etna, you're such an inspiration. The miracle full face cat trick. Now we get to find out what actually happens in this chapter. Pictures? Question mark? I wonder if we ever find out what this is. <coughs> it's a blackmailer! Blackmail to enforce a fair fight? I can get behind that. It's it's just playing dirty to make sure that nobody else plays dirty. That's all. Secret. Maybe we're about to get betrayed. Alrighty, and I think that will do it for this episode. Um, I will do a little bit of thinking, uh, probably a little bit of leveling, actually. Um, like I was saying during that last fight, you know, everybody we were up against was level 14 or higher. Um, and as a result, we're, all of our guys are 
pretty underleveled right now. Um, so I will go ahead and do some, probably some leveling in between episodes here. Uh, it's probably also going to involve doing some transmigration or some reincarnation. So I will introduce you to this. I don't want to go through the entire process during an episode just because um, it would be pretty time consuming. Like with all of my, with all of these characters hitting level ten, there's a lot of um, like team modification stuff that's gonna happen. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll make like a side episode, like an intermission episode, where we won't actually do much of anything in chapter development, like story development or anything. We'll just do some team adjustments, power leveling, stuff like that. So yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll do like a. Uh, episode 6B or so before we switch over to episode 7 and continue with the continue with the storyline. So thanks for joining me. Stop in next time and take care of yourselves. Bye bye.